Okay, I'm just going to share an observation that I've made from my experience um, studying internet marketing, looking at the whole model of network marketing, and you can take it for what it is, but um, this is just something that I observed. Um, when you do things God's way, they always work out because he's made all the laws for the universe, whether you accept that or not. So um, the Bible is a good source to find those laws. <laughs> um, on network marketing, I think Jesus was a network marketer. Like, he had his job. He was a carpenter, right? And then, like about 30, he's like, hmm. Around 30 is like I need I need to get I need to get a crew and uh, go out and change the world. So he he called out his 12. He discipled them and then he sent them out to disciple others. He taught them the laws of the kingdom of God, showed them how it's done, and then like sent them out. So what I learned is the Bible's truth endures forever. So. You can see it. Like right now, I'm, I'm noticing they have this thing called Running Buddies. And I was like, dude, Jesus sent out his disciples two by two. So I'm not working right like, find a running buddy, someone to go with you and, you know, challenge each other, uh, keep each other accountable. And I'm like, wow, they like, they took that straight from, like, from the Bible, from Jesus, man. <laughs> Alright, so the further away you get from the Bible, the more things fall apart. We are taught to be stupid by the school system. Um, America, I can just speak for America because I grew up in the American school system. I went to school, I have a master's in teaching, and um, basically all this philosophy and learning theory is crap. We learn by doing and by seeing other people doing it, modeling and being discipled or apprenticeship is the best model for learning. So the other stuff is crap. So you need to work one-on-one -on -one with your people. Don't try to like recruit a million people or a hundred or a bazillion, things fall apart. But if you spend time and groom leaders, say 12 leaders, for instance, um, then you have exponential growth. So on philosophy, I would say are these academia stifling people they're forever learning and not coming to knowledge of the truth the truth is right there the truth is always simple and it's either you do it and get results or you ignore it and go in circles so I'm following Jesus model call out 12 disciple them teach them how it's done show them how it's done and send them out by two by two works. Um, yeah, one other thing about Jesus, uh, he, he's like, do you think I came to abolish the law? He's talking about God's laws. Like, no, I came to fulfill it. And like, there's this Jewish dude that came to uh, one of our church meetings one time, and he's like, that fulfill it actually translates to show you how it's done. So Jesus came not to do away with the law and be like, hey, everyone, we're under grace. No, he came, up, came to show us how to live the law so that we could have life more abundantly. So if you're seeing issues in your life, it's because you didn't get it. You didn't get what Jesus was out to do. He tells you to forgive your enemies, you know, bless those that curse you and everything so that you can have an abundant life. So... That's all I'm going to say for that. Um, I'm sure a lot of you will disagree with me, and I welcome that. Let's have healthy, productive discussion. All right, see y'all. This is Liz.